All right, guys, so we have a lot of stuff to cover. Um, a whole bunch of information was just released between, well, some of the stuff that was released is actually released today while I was driving into work, which is new. Because usually it happens when I'm driving back from work, and by the time I get home, there's a whole bunch of information about it. So that's a little bit upsetting for me, because I wasn't able to get you guys information around 11 o'clock this morning when I saw the information get posted. But first off, um, let's go ahead and jump off into it. Uh, shout out to the Reddit, um, call it's on Z, and everyone else who you are going to see posts from for all the information. Uh, we're going to be covering both the JP side and the global side for at least this news release, because there's a lot of cool information and cool things that are happening. Um, yeah. So, uh, before we start, I did want to say, so, um, I've been watching Naruto a lot, uh, I'm up to, like, episode 300, after the episode 300, I'm, I'm at the part where Madara Uchiha just brought down, like, the asteroids from outer space onto everyone, and the five Kage just showed up to take them out. So, um, I know that Naruto Blazing Battle is about at that area, um, and my boy Steve has been telling me everything that's going on with it, so you can probably expect me to start doing some Blazing Battle content since I'm technically caught up in the anime, since I've never watched it before, up until this point in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just about what I might be, what I will be doing in the future. Plus, I'll start bringing Bleach Brave Souls into some of my uh, uploads as well, if any of you are interested in that game. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead, bro. This is a Dokkan Battle video. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, first off, on the Reddit, this is for the JP side. This is for the Halloween campaign that's going on. It's a little bit different than the global side Halloween campaign. Uh, we got login bonuses. We have the bonus overview, which I actually didn't have opened up. We're going to go over that. Potential orbs every day, blah, blah, blah. Um, go ahead, do that. I don't grind them out every day myself. I'm just going in for the current uh, tickets. Uh, tickets and dragon stones that you can get. Don't confess with new Super Vegito. We will be going over that. Uh, that's freaking awesome. That new Super Vegito is pretty freaking cool. I like it. That actually gives me hope on the global side because of all the damn Super Vegitos I have. Halloween special event. Um, that's the, like the, the probably the um, candy event that's going on. Super Vegito Doken event. Extra stage is added to the existing Super Vegito Doken event, which is really cool also. That Super Vegito is a Majin Buu arc category gotcha, or is a Majin Buu arc category lead. Uh, so they have a specific gacha for that. They have a strength gacha as well. Um, a Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Saga um, event has come back. Saiyan Warrior Race event that's for the Dokken Awakenings of the Great Apes. Super Warrior Slam Victory Will Be Mine Story event that is the Bio Broly event. Um, Dragon Stone Super Cell and two times experience in quest mode. So overall, that's everything. Uh, shout out to Qualison. Thank you for giving us all this information. Uh, for the login bonuses, nothing like not too crazy. It's literally just a Dragonstone every day, which is actually pretty damn awesome. Uh, plus your basic login bonuses. And it looks like you're getting uh, agility orbs every day. I don't know why they're giving you only agility. Uh, but anyway, that's awesome. So that's freaking pretty cool. So this is the tweet from the official um, Facebook, well, the official Twitter page, sorry about that, uh, Twitter page of uh, Dokkan Battle. Uh, so this is the Vegito, the new Vegito that we're getting. It's pretty freaking awesome. I will be showing you guys the Super Tech in a second. Um, he's really awesome. I do have the translations up. I did get the translations. Uh, it's from Nordrax. So awesome, or Nordax, sorry about that. I took the translations. The translations from French to English are a lot better than doing the Japanese to English. Um, so thank you, shout out to Nordax. Go ahead and follow him over on the on Twitter. Um, so this is the card. I'm going to go over it right now. His leader ability is key plus three HP and defense plus 170% and attack plus 130% for Majin Buu arc category. Uh, I believe he also does attack and defense plus 50%. No, HP attack and defense plus 50%, key plus 3 for physical types. Uh, that's been the new meta. I don't see it listed here, but that, it wasn't in the translation. Um, but his passive skill is reduces damage from normal attacks by 50% and counter attacks. So that's typical for Super Vegito. Each time he's attacked, though, his attack is increased by 10% up to 100% max. And he does immense damage and gives all allies attack of 30% buff for one turn. So he's really awesome. Um, I really like that. Uh, I don't have the link skills currently translated for you, but I'm probably going. I'm going to assume he's going to have obviously a super fierce battle, super saiyan, um, the Patara fusion one for a power bestowed by God. Uh, so he's going to have basic stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, he's not going to. It's going to be basic. Essentially, look at your current super Vegito, and essentially he's going to have the same exact links. Um, so I just don't. You know, didn't want to go too far into the full card. I will be doing a full card review um, when I have all the official translations in a separate video. Anyway, so that's pretty damn cool. His, uh, his leader ability and his passive skill are really what we're worried about as of right now for the, for the sake of this video. 
pretty awesome. I do like it. I still I don't like the whole att being attacked, increasing attack, blah 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 blah. I'm not a big fan of it. I guess it's cool for the longer Dokkan events, but um, and it resets after you finish one boss battle and you like go to like the map. It, re it resets. Uh, so that's really another reason why I don't like it. Won't really be too viable on Battle Road or anything like that. Um, anyway, so I, I talked to you about Nordax. Um, that is more information. I got some live tweets right now from the official Dokkan page. Oh, okay, that's really just about the Halloween login bonuses and everything, which I already have for you. So, we're gonna go over, this is the official Dokkan page, um, for, uh, well, v3japan.dbz.space, so dbz.space. Uh, that's what it is. And I actually completely forgot to, there we go. So now you should see my, uh, URL bar. Uh, this is the official information, so not only do we have the Super Vegito, we also have another base form Vegito, a Strength Vegito, and we already talked about the Candy Vegito in another video, but the new Strength Vegito. I do have the translations here. Now, this one is um, translated from Japanese to English because, well, A, um, first off, the uh, freaking translations on my Google Chrome didn't work for some reason. It ended up saying it can't be translated, so that kind of sucks. Um, I thought that was Max Awoken. Why is it? Oh, he only, he's only an SR. Huh, interesting. Okay, cool. So he is key plus uh, two HP and defense up uh, for category. Up category? What? Uh, HP and defense up. I'm assuming that's for the Majin Buu category. There's no real information over here. Uh, and the translation obviously isn't working right now. Page has been... Oh, it worked this time. Vigor, key plus two HP. And oh, okay. But what, what's this category thing? I'm not sure if that's for Majin Buu category. It just says category at the end of it or if it's just for everything. Um, well, again, when I have more information about that, I will let you know. Big Bang Attack, I'm assuming that's immense damage. One turn, attack plus 20% up for all allies. Um, Messiah appeared. It is all strength type, key plus two. And he gives him only himself attack and defense plus 40% up. So he's really not that great of a unit overall. Um, I wouldn't recommend running him as a unit in himself. He's probably just going to be good for increasing the super attack of base form Vegitos. Uh, that's all you really hope for. Battle Ethic Saiyan. Um, attack and defense plus 10% up. Attitude of attitudes are prepared for battle. Uh, but power bestowed by God. Attack, a special warrior effect. Yeah, these things never get translated that well. Uh, Built-in power. I think this means supreme power. Uh, it's because he's good against the uh, Majin Buu event. Uh, coalesced warrior or fusion warrior, which is going to be another one. That's going to be on the Super Saiyan Vegito as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, he's, he's a cool unit. Uh, again, it's probably going to be someone you won't ever actually run. I don't know what the card art is like, um, but not the card art. The animation is like, I don't have that for you. Um, this is a Super Vegito, the SSR variant. This is his Undokun form, which I really like the Undokun form uh, as compared to the Dokun form uh, in terms of the card art anyway. I really like that. I prefer the power up. But anyway, I guess he's powering up so he can go uh, TUR. Uh, but yeah, this is him right here. Pretty damn badass. Really like the card art. Um, we are going to go ahead and watch the super attack now. Um, I actually have it up over here on the Twitter. There we go. No, we can close out of that. Close out of that. And it's over here. You guys are going to get a full screen of the actual uh, video itself. But this is just for me because I have only watched it once on my phone. Alright, so I just wanted to make sure I gave you guys a full uh, full screen of that and high def as high def as I could possibly get it. Uh, I'm gonna show I'm gonna go again here on the um, actual uh, Twitter page and this freaking counterattack, dude, this freaking counterattack is insane. Look at that, the freaking orb. Remember when he freaking powered up on all of his fingertips and he launched it? How dude, that's so freaking crazy. I love it. It just freaking comes in. I mean, granted, it just kind of looks like someone took a freaking the circle design and threw it in paint. I mean, look at that. that. That's actually a really crappy design for that. But whatever. It's freaking cool. It's really badass the way he goes after it. And then his super attack. First off, his super attack. I love it. But goddamn, it's too long. It's too long for a TUR. It, that, that's like the super attack of like LR Gohan almost the length of time it takes. He does the kicks. He does the freaking uh, power like Kamehameha. Big Bang Big Bang Kamehameha, essentially. Uh, once it attacks it, he goes with the spirits. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's freaking sick, but holy crap, guys, it takes so freaking long for it to finish. Like, it, it goes like the, this magical swipe of darkness into, 
I, I don't even know. It, it just all well, it's freaking dying on me. But anyway, it just it takes way too freaking long. Twenty nine seconds between the counter and the freaking super attack. That's ridiculous. I know there's probably others that are just as long, but you know that's just my opinion on it. Uh, but he's freaking cool. He looks like a badass unit. Me personally, I probably won't go for him. When it comes to these category leads, I only see viability for myself with the hybrid Saiyan, just because I have LR go on. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for LR trunks. Um, you know what's interesting? I, I you would think. And no, actually, you know, what, technically Super Saiyan Rose uh, merged Zamasu. Um, he actually merged Zamasu. Would technically I could see him being part of the hybrid Saiyan because he fused with a Saiyan. He was a god and a Saiyan, so he's hybrid. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, we're not going to go over the Candy Vegito because I already went over him at some point. Um, this is for Baba uh, Boo Saga category analysis. Uh, essentially, these are just some cards that are thought to be part of it. Ultimate Gohan. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Base Form Gotenks, LR Goten and Trunks, which is going to be cool. LR Spirit Bomb Goku, if you're lucky enough to get him. Others is LR Majin Vegeta or Majin Vegeta. Uh, that's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Boo Tanks, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and Base Vegito. So, you have some freaking cool cards that can come into play here. Me, myself, um, I mean, I, I don't play the JP side often, so I really don't have any of these cards. I think the only category I leader I have is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and I haven't even Doken Wakened him yet. I do have the team to do it, but I just, you know, to beat the event. I just haven't taken the time to do so. Um, I'll probably do that the next time Tech's available, which I actually I think is today, so I'll probably be doing that to collect my um, little tickets for that gotcha. By the way, those tickets, I will be talking about them in a second. Actually, I'll just talk about it right now. Um, the tickets for the... Uh, JP side of Dokkan battle. Um, I will be doing a video on that on Thursday once the event ends, once I get my last crop of tickets, and I'll just be doing a full summoning video on that. So uh, you have that to look forward to. Um, next one is Halloween Celebration Global Official. You get 25 stones over the course of the time to log in, plus 10 stones on the initial login. I already collected mine. LR Goku Black's coming in in a couple hours. At least at the time of this video, it'll be a couple hours. I think like 2.30 in the morning Eastern Time. Um, and World Tournament was also announced with the Fusions banner. World Tournament, we don't know what the card is, so that's awesome. And you're still getting the Saiyan, um, the Saiyan Warrior Race uh, bonuses or Saiyan Blood bonuses. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, we're going to go over that on when we get to dbc.space. PLS Trove costs $9.99, can be purchased up to three times. I don't recommend purchasing it. I think it's a waste of money. Um, because, you know, honestly, Dragonstones are the only thing that I think is worth it, unless you're getting, like, tickets for a specific banner that have, like, LRs on it. Uh, Treasures, Dragonstones, times 20, Sensu Bean, Dende, Ghost Usher, King Yemma, Baba, um, all orb-changing items, Fruit of the Tree of Might, and Baba Points. They're, uh, the Baba Points, possibly, not really. Actually, no, they're not worth it at all. Uh, honestly, none of this is worth it, guys. Don't waste your money on it. I really don't think it's worth it. Um, heads up for Dokkan Global. I looked at the DBZ, uh, what, what DBZ.space or Renzi had posted up about this. So, uh, first off, shout out. This, it says for Xmas missions, but I looked at it, and it was for last year's missions. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Like, at least the, the, the dates that was that were recorded. I, that's what, at least what I checked out last night. I was going, I was in bed, and I was about to pass out, and I saw that that was posted, and I was just like, huh, what is this? I, look, I started looking through the code, and I was just like, well, everything was mentioned for last year's Christmas, I believe. So I don't know if that's actually going to be a, just a repeat of this year. So if it is, that's awesome. I'm, I'm not going to go over that here. Uh, then we have all the information that I had talked about just before on the Reddit. Uh, in terms of the upcoming new special event, if the freaking internet wants to load for me, um, this is for the Candy Vegito coming soon. This is what you should see on your screen um, if you log into the phone. This is for the Halloween login bonus on the global side. The JP side essentially has the same stuff. It's just in Japanese. I'm logging every day of 25, blah, blah, blah. So that's freaking awesome. I really like this card art, actually. That's, that's not the card art, the banner or whatever image you want to call this. <laughs> uh, this is for the Halloween celebration being on. This is all the stuff that's going to happen here. First off, Halloween login bonus is 25. Dragon Souls, we already talked about. Majin Buu Candy Mischief. That's going to be the um, uh, event that you can grind out for a sweet support item, which is that Deborah. Uh, this, a lot of people have talked about, we've talked about it, we're gonna do a separate video on this specifically, um, just because I'm already at, what, 14 minutes so far in this video, and we still have a little bit more to cover. Uh, LR, Goku Black, is gonna be on a featured banner. It looks like this is gonna be the Strength Goku and the Tech Vegeta, that's what these two, at least from the card art looks like. Um, at least from the, the coloring style, that's what it reminds me of. So that's freaking awesome, plus I think those are the two that were actually came out for, for the, uh, uh, LR Goku Black event, or the Goku Black event when the card, that card dropped. So LR Goku Black will have his own freaking banner, which is freaking awesome. Uh, chances are, though, he's going to be flooded with freaking featured SSRs, and he's probably only going to have a 0.3% pull rate. 
Uh, if he does, I, just, I don't recommend highly going for it. 0.3% is cool, but usually on banners like this, when he has that higher percentage of pull, um, you usually get all the LRs that are, have been available in game, and currently on the J, on the global side, that is. The global side, you have LR Gohan, you have Majin Vegeta, and you have Broly, so that should add those cards. Those cards should be in it, but again, once this banner comes live, it will be available. Dragon Ball Fusion's banner will be re uh, well, coming back over. So, number four crossover summon event. It looks like Dragon Ball Fusion is double. Um, so, anyway, so new cards are going to be available for it. This Weirus is so freaking amazing on LR Gohan team. Um, and the reason why it is so amazing is because it changes two orb types to one, which makes LR Gohan hit so freaking hard. He's a physical type, so he's not going to do good on a mono intelligence team, but that's just freaking sick just in itself. Um, outside of that, um, he's, you know, I guess he's cool for LR Trunks. Um, because you could use him with the LR Trunks with that car because he's going to need the key anyway. So that's cool, and I guess he's going to be good on a Fusions team. Um, and then for the other Dragon Ball Fusion stuff, this Barlot's going to be cool. He's a good card to have, bullpen. Um, basically, that Dragon Ball Fusion. So this doesn't come out often. I would recommend going for the Fusion cards if you don't have them. Uh, Genius Ball and Battle Prep, which always comes up for the World Tournament. And the World Tournament, which is going to be coming out next weekend. We, there's no information on what card is going to be here because they didn't add the card into it so if that was a mistake i will update you guys when we have that information again this is probably going to be stuff that i'll be going over with you for the rest of this week so you know stay tuned because i'll, I'll be going over everything in depth as it comes out um halloween power up pack is what i talked about before do not do it not worth it <laughs> Um, and then this is the five characters going to be Doken Link, and I already covered this, I know, um, but this is just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware. 10.30 as of today, you can go ahead and Doken Awaken. Um, actually, it's not available as of yet. It's going to be available in a couple hours. Uh, this is for the Doken Awakenings of all of the Baba Shop ones. I know some of you guys were giving me crap because I said the Master Roshi is the only one worth it. Yes, I do understand that, like, Great Saiyan Man has some decent Link skills and Nappa has some decent Link skills. I think that Master Roshi, and I still stand by that, that Master Roshi is probably the best one out of all five of them. I'm not saying that he is the, like, that he's the number one card out of these, and, you know, it's my opinion on it. I like it because he has over and a flash. It's over and a flash in Kamehameha. I know these guys have shocking speed, which is good for teams and whatnot, but, you know, I, I personally like the Master Roshi, and I still will stand by that statement. Um, outside of that, let's move over. This is the uh, Japanese side of dbc.space. Uh, same information here um, for the, uh, the Candy Vegito event that's coming out. Uh, so we have that. Then we have the other news. This is just the Halloween login bonus. is special. They just have a different um, image on the background. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks instead of Super Saiyan 1. Uh, or at least the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. And then the last two when they want to freaking load for me. Uh, this is the login bonus reward that I had talked about before. And the thousand day lo well, the, the, yeah, the thousand day login bonus is for the actual banner. Which again... Thursday is when it ends. Thursday is when you will have a video from me uh, doing summons on the banner, so that way I can use up all of them to you. So if you guys have been holding on to them, you can go hit summon along with me and let me know what you pulled, or when I pull, when I go on to that banner and do it, let me know in that video. I'll let you guys know to let me know what you pulled in the comments. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's all the freaking news. I know there's so much information. It's a 20-minute video, and man, I am winded. I need some water because I'm freaking, my mouth is so freaking dry right now because <laughs> it was constant talking. But um, yeah, freaking really hyped. A lot of cool stuff is happening on both the JP and the global side. Global side is getting a whole bunch of new stuff. Hopefully, you know what? I think that by the end of the year, we're going to be in a really good position to be uh, almost be caught up with the JP side. Because I think by the end of the year, um, JP may be ahead of us with category leads, but we should at least only be a couple behind. And the way they've been releasing content on the global side, if they continue at the same pace with the category leads, I would say by next mid, mid well, I'd say probably within the first couple of months of following year, we should be caught up with the JP side, if that's their intended plan anyway. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll be doing all this information in separate videos once it gets released, more in depth, uh, in detail. So that way we can know what the heck's going on. But thank you for guys. I'll catch you guys later. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Peace. All right, guys. So I just got information. I got a, literally a tweet from DBZ Space. Um, about the categories now being added to uh, well, dbz.space. <laughs> so I'm on the JP side of dbz.space, as you see from the URL up top. And we have all of the Majin Buu lead categories. So by the way, yeah, um, this is going to get extended onto the current video, which I've almost finished uh, editing. So hashtag after hours if you made it this far. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gokus, which I don't understand why all of them are here, because not all of them... Uh, oh, actually, no, that does make sense, because he didn't go Super Saiyan 2 until the Majin Buu saga, but I feel like some of these might not be from the Majin Buu, um, 
like, arc some of these characters might not be from. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if this technique is actually from that arc or not. Um, I guess I would have to take a look at the arc itself, but anyway, um, yeah, so, first off, my waifu Videl's there, so awesome. <laughs> uh, the strength one is the actual Majin Buu arc leader, like, I guess that SR variant of that leader. So that's freaking awesome. I just got another notification on Twitter from Nordex, I'm just checking it really quick. And, yeah, no, it's just about the strength one, which I already went over with you guys. Um, SSR's, SSR's galore, TUR's galore, Majin Vegeta is part of it, hell yeah. Um, the fat boo, the, the evil boo, the super boo, um, they're all part of it. The kid boos are all part of the intelligence kid boo, which is freaking awesome to be part of it. The intelligence, the Boro, the Baba Shop, the Boro, ultimate Gohan, freaking sick. That the strength one, actually, the 120, well, the category leader. Um, the agility, SSR, Vegito, the LR Goku is confirmed to be part of it, hell yeah, that's awesome, Spirit Bomb Goku, um, the Trunks, uh, by the way, I know I did give this Trunks a lot of crap in my last video on the global side, with the new Dokkan Battle Road, he's gonna be really good because of his passive skill, just wanted to give a little shout out there, <laughs> um, the Team Gohans, the Buhans, the Bukalo, uh, essentially everything, literally everything from there, even the, the Android 18, even though I think this is the Bio Broly one, uh, this is the Bio Broly one, I guess because she's super, she's good. Um, that's equivalent. Gotenks, obviously, is going to be part of it. Um, super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is part of it, which is freaking sick, badass. Um, obviously, another Team Gohan, LR Hercule, Mighty Mask, LR Mighty Mask, actually. Um, well, not really LR Mighty Mask, LR Goten and Trunks. So, yeah, um, freaking, you can go over here to dbz.space, cards, categories. He has all the categories listed out over here, so freaking hell yeah. Uh, just want to extend this onto the video. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.